Welcome to the Land Cruiser Project. What we do on this channel is we review auction listings from Bring a Trailer, Cars and Bids, and other online uh, sources for uh, 80 series, 100 series, and 200 series Land Cruisers. And why we do this is to uh, point out common issues, uh, try and make sure that there's nothing that the seller's not, you know, disclosing, and you know, otherwise just inform you to help make a better decision uh, if you were in the market for one of these vehicles. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the vehicle we're going to study today, which is a 2020 uh, 200 series Land Cruiser in this uh, beautiful black color. Uh, it's currently and already bid up to fifty thousand uh, dollars. It's got six days left. So let's go over the details, uh, see if there's anything that jumps out at us besides these awesome, awesome wheels. <laughs> All right, looking at the details, it's got uh, 24,000 miles. It's got these, uh, yeah, it's this midnight black metallic. It's got the black leather interior. Uh, 20 inch NK wheels, which are super Florida E. Sorry to all my Florida folks. <laughs> uh, originally, $90,000 in 2020. It's got a clean Carfax uh, and a Florida title in the name of the seller's corporation. So if you're going to be buying this, make sure that, uh, yeah, the person selling it has, uh, yeah, the ability to sign off on that title. Probably no shenanigans, but you never know. Uh, looks like it's got, you know, outside of the ordinary, um, it's got a receiver hitch with trailer sway control. Um, that was obviously important to note. So perhaps this was, has done some towing and yeah, it looks like it's got some Yokohama Geolander all train tires on those, uh, 20 inch wheels and yep. Everything else looks pretty normal there. Um, jumping through again, 24,000 miles and engine bay looks clean. Undercarriage looks clean and yada, yada, yada. All right. Let's look at the Carfax. Just make sure that is all hunky dory. Uh, so yeah, corporate use for a year and then personal use for another year and a half. Um, you know, probably the, you know, the same, uh, you know, arguably the same, same people, uh, kept in Florida the whole time. Oh, Tennessee for, uh, some service and yeah, it looks like it stayed in Florida. So, all right, nothing out of the ordinary there. Um, uh, yeah, low mileage and yeah, it looks like. Um, yeah, Florida and Tennessee based on the service history. All right, let's jump into the photos. This will be uh, more of an exercise of just looking for anything that's wrong, anything that's out of place, you know, otherwise assume, you know, kind of top shelf retail vehicle. Again, this 2016 front end, yeah, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, not digging the look with these, uh, yeah, 20 inch NK wheels, but I know everybody's got their own, their own taste. Uh, the black doesn't look too awful in these. I, I'm, I kind of prefer, you know, the white, uh, the white paint on these. I know that's not, yeah, everybody's, uh, yeah, preference, but yeah, that's, that's kind of the look I like, but yeah, the black doesn't look too bad. Uh, but those, those wheels, mm, yeah. And yeah, I'm kind of getting the sense that, yeah, maybe the spare doesn't match. We'll, we'll see. Uh, the cover's missing on this. Um, don't know what, you know, where it is, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of take a look at that. You'd expect that, you know, would still be there, but anyway, you can also see the name of the selling dealer. We saw this in the, um, in the Carfax report. So another good indicator, you know, if you're looking at a vehicle, uh, you know, that can kind of help you figure out, you know, like let's, let's say you can't get a Carfax report that can maybe help you figure out, you know, either where it's being sold or where it's been in its life, uh, you know, and rule out, you know, maybe a rust belt state or something of that nature. Uh, yeah, going through the photos here, yeah, nothing, nothing really out of place. Uh, you know, I kind of dig the little, you know, Easter egg type stuff with the Land Cruiser and the trim, you know, on that, uh, yeah, that chrome trim there. But yeah, there's probably not going to be much, if anything, wrong with this given, you know, corporate and light use. Uh, regarding the mileage, three years, 24,000 miles. I mean, that is, that is, you know, pretty, pretty consistent and, you know, moderate, moderate use. Somewhat interesting here, I, you know, there's little, uh, you know, like kind of bumpers underneath the hood here. If you look at how, you know, like the distance between the headlight housing and the, and the, uh, the hood, and also it's worth noting, it's got, uh, you know, like a paint protective film, um, you know, here you can kind of see the edges. You can see how it's already caught some rock chips, uh, where the film didn't extend to, excuse me. Um, but you can see this, uh, this gasket in the, in that gap now shifting over to this other side, um, while this angle from the hood rolling onto the fender on the driver's side looks, looks normal. Uh, and, and again, not saying that there's anything amiss, but just, you know, slight variations, uh, from one side to the next. And maybe it's just the angle that the photos taken. Yeah. I love, love the, the LED lights there in the rear. 
you know, being a 2020, this is going to have, you know, the adaptive cruise control. You can see, you can see, uh, yeah, the camera or whatever, you know, sensors up there. Uh, there's the etchings on all the glass. We've got a yeah, good number of photos. So yeah, it looks like all that's original. Um, yeah, again, nice touch with the film underneath the door handles. Yeah, looks looks pretty looks pretty clean. Little scratch there. Don't know what door that is, but minor scratch in the paint. There's some detail shots of the emblems and such. Um, yep, yeah, moving to the interior. Well, not yet. Kind of false alarm, but. Uh, yeah, these door sills look like they've, you know, not had a lot of use. Uh, you know, nobody's dragging their feet over them. All right, looking at these uh, super awesome wheels. I uh, would certainly prefer, yeah, an OEM wheel on this, but, yeah, to each each their own. Don't know what purposes uh, you know, the, the original owner had for these. But looks, everything looks in place and, yeah, nothing out of the ordinary. All right, moving to the interior. Uh, door jam looks nice and clean. Uh, you know, no, no surprises there. Uh, yeah, the leather's in good shape, you know, hardly anywhere on this bolster, you know, it really, if any, I mean, you can see that, you know, the, the wood, the grain of it and the crease kind of, you know, showing up a little bit where you don't really see that on the, on the inboard side. Yeah. Just some light scratches on the door sill. Yeah. looks good. Not sure what's dripping down here. Uh, probably either just some water or some, um, yeah, some detail spray. Yeah, but good looking interior. Carpet looks clean. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, pretty much new. Steering wheel looks like it's in the great shape. A little look looks like a little scratch there at the at the top. Uh but yeah, twenty three thousand seven hundred and ninety seven miles. It's got all the all the goodies, it looks like. Although I, I I don't know all the options on these 200 series, but yeah, it looks like these blanks. It's you know it is missing something. Like I don't see uh, like the steering wheel heater, and you would expect that not to have been optioned for a truck coming out of uh, out of Florida. Yeah, good looking cockpit. Oh, there's your steering wheel heater. I guess in the subsequent years, maybe they moved those buttons around. Um, anyway, but yeah, heated and ventilated seats as well. A couple minus scratches on that uh, glove box door. A rear seat, you got one of the keys just randomly sitting there on the seat. Uh, unpackaged headphones in the rear. Can't tell you how much I hate those rear entertainment screens, but whatever. Yeah, looks looks pretty clean. There's there's really not a lot to talk about here, as you'd expect for something that's just a couple years old. <laughs> Randomly, this one spotlight's on. <laughs> All right, looks like they haven't even put the little uh, kit here in the door. Look, I, yeah, I wonder. It makes me wonder how this how this truck was used for the yeah for the three years that it's been out. Yeah, and w why there's some staining or whatever going on on those doors. Um, looks like at some point maybe this has been used, seeing you know a little bit of rust and you know kind of damage on the on the bottle jack where you know where you where you spin it. Um, I'll, yeah, and you can see a little little damage. You know these pieces have been assembled on my uh, on my Lexus, my 2009 Lexus that I had. Yeah, this had never been used, and I had taken it to get the wheels, uh, you know, the new tires put on, and I forgot. You know, I've got like basically this little hook, but I forgot to. Yeah, I forgot to bring it, so they yeah they ruined my my mint tool set. Uh, don't understand why they didn't clean out the leaves here. Oh, that's I don't know. I don't know why you wouldn't do that. That looks so bad on a on a vehicle that's like mint and you've got it on bring a trailer for, you know, the purpose of bringing, you know, highest dollar possible. Yeah, that's I don't know. It's just kind of silly. I keep looking in the dust here for uh like little Mike mouse prints, but yeah, not seeing anything. <laughs> 
maybe a, like a, some some sort of a little oil dripping leak here. Um, you know, this should otherwise be you know pretty pretty pristine. But all right, moving to the other undercarriage. Yeah, nothing really too out of place. You can tell it's had oil changes. You know, there's a little bit of corrosion there. I, you can see a little corrosion here on, I guess this would be either on like the, the frame. Yeah, it's still on the front frame. Um, so yeah, presumably this was, you know, parked and kept in a spot that you know, gets a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of, you know, corrosion on it. Because this, this is a lot for, for three years in Florida. So, you know, certain areas of the coast can be a little bit more susceptible to you know, corrosion, especially if it was used out like on the beach or used to tow a boat. Um, but, you know, it's still, you know, very minor. So otherwise it looks pretty, pretty new under here. No, no leaks and drips coming from, you know, the transfer case or the transmission or the drive train. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, and confirmation here, I think. Yeah, so this, this looks like the original Toyota wheel. So nothing bugs me more uh, than having a mismatched spare, especially when you go to different tire sizes and different wheel sizes. You you might as well just pull this thing off. Like, I, I don't understand why you don't go all the way and buy that fifth wheel in tire. It's, it's just, it just reeks of cheapness for some reason to me. Does that bother anybody else? I don't know. It bugs me. All right, bunch of bunch of stickers. Kind of a weird like blue. I don't know if it's like the camera, but kind of like a weird like blue outline on this sticker. That's that's funky. And let's see. So some modification reduced the uh, the payload by twenty nine pounds. So for all those people that think, oh, you know, like the mods, you know, they don't they don't really like any. Anyway. Like you've got here, they added probably like the screens, right? I'm guessing it's the, you know, those rear entertainment screens, but they, yeah, they felt necessary to yet yeah, decrease the payload by 29 pounds. Uh, yeah, certainly looks like the hitch has been used a little bit or at least has been kept in there. Um, yeah, so definitely worth asking, you know, what this vehicle was used for, you know, 24,000 miles of towing, you know, that can be a big, you know, it can be a big deal for a new vehicle and just something to consider. Um, yeah, originally, you know, just shy of $90,000. And yeah, some maintenance receipts. What's this one? Those oh, those are the the tires. Again, buy that fifth one. Don't mm. you're you're paying yeah two thousand bucks for tires. Like why don't just go for the gold? <laughs> All right. Yeah, looks looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, first order of business would getting rid of these yeah those awful wheels or at least getting them all to match. But you know, to each their own. Um. Yeah, so the markout on these, you know, certainly these are coming down just a little bit, um, you know, given the price and the mileage. Um, yeah, I, I think this is going to go, you know, the kind of the going rate for these is, yeah, like kind of like mid to low 80s. Um, so that's probably where this will go. This will, this, again, the wheels, I think, are a huge price, you know, negative on it. Um, hopefully the seller can indicate in the comments that the original wheels will come with it. Um, anyway, so with that being said, and given the leaves in the cowl area under the hood, yeah, let's let's say this goes up to yeah eighty one thousand five hundred. Uh, that's what I thought. Yeah, but pretty clean. Uh, good starting point for somebody. Um, but yeah, too uh, yeah too big of a bill for my uh, for my wallet. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Um, have a great day. Uh, thanks for thanks for tuning in. And yeah, take care.